Hi everyone, welcome to the presentation in which I'll show you how you can rank your website on page one of search engines using optimized meta tags. The reason I'm doing this presentation is because lately I've had several people call me to get my opinion on their websites, how they can rank on page one of Google and so forth. And one of the first things that I notice is that in most cases, the sites don't have the correct meta tags. So you should know how to have your website. Uh, you should know how to have the right meta tags on your site because that does help you rank higher on search engines. So let's get into the presentation. Before I show you what meta tags really are and how you can have the right ones on your site, uh, let me briefly tell you about the major benefits of search engine optimization. Uh, which means your site ranking high on search engines on the free part, on the free search, not in Google AdWords or not in the paid ads. If your site ranks high on the free search, you obviously get high return on investment, which means every time someone clicks on your website, you don't pay any of the search engines. You're there because it's you're on the free part of the search engines. You may have invested some time and money in the beginning to get there, but once you're there and if you can maintain your rankings, you can actually get a lot of clicks. The first ranking usually gets about 45 to 47% of all clicks on page one of Google. So you can get a lot of clicks being there and you don't pay search engines for every single click. You get more targeted traffic. And let me show you what I mean by that. Let's go to Google and for example, if someone is looking for TPO roofing in Milwaukee area, well, that's where I'm from, you'll see the first free listing. Now the top three are the paid ads, but this listing here, that's the first free listing. And if you click on it, it should take you to a website that actually talks about TPO roofing. So they'll they'll tell you what TPO roofing is all about. And since this is what you're looking for, most likely you would pick up the phone and call them. So that helps big time being on front page of uh, search engines in your targeted keywords because that's how you get targeted traffic. Long term positioning. If you do search engine optimization ethically, if you do it the right way, you could keep your listings for a long period of time. And let me show you what I mean by that. This part of this page is coming from my workshop page. And last year I wrote here, here are the results of Google search on April 2nd, 2011, almost a year ago. And these were my results back then. I ranked number one, uh, in all these keywords and key phrases and a year later maybe one or two have changed that my listing may have gone down in a few my listing has actually gone up so I still pretty much maintain all these rankings even after one year which is great because guess what if I'm number one in Google for Twitter consultant or Twitter expert Milwaukee or SEO expert Milwaukee I don't have to pay any search engine to be there just like this company here vertex construction is number one under tpo roofing they don't they're not paying to be here whereas the top three here are paying every time someone clicks on them so in long run this company here will save a lot of money so long-term positioning obviously saves a lot of money to companies you're perceived as an industry leader and the reason for that is because most of the time when you do a keyword search or a key phrase search, the results that you see, the top three or four results usually have one or two big companies in them. In retail, you would often see Amazon or eBay. In construction, you'll see some of the big companies of our area. And when you are shown with them, when your site ranks with them, you're perceived as a pretty big company that helps you get more prospects and obviously getting targeted traffic being on front page of search engines for a long period of time perceived as an industry leader helps you get higher conversions which means more people that land on your website pick up the phone and call you or if you're selling a product 
then they buy your product. Either ways, it benefits you a lot. And of course, you do get global exposure 24-7. Your listings in, in your keywords are pretty much same all over. So it's not like if you are ranking, if someone searches for TPO Roofing Milwaukee and they are not in Milwaukee area, they'll still see the same listing. So someone from Chicago may be looking for it, someone from uh, another city may be looking for it, and you are not actually paying to be on page one in that particular area, but your listing still does rank on page one, so you now have exposure, which is not just in your city, where you run your campaign or ad campaign, uh, you, your listing is is coming up in every single part of the world. So that's a great way. That's actually what has helped me build our perfume business international. So let's find out about the three meta tags. The first one being the title tag. It should not be over eight, nine words, around 65 to 70 characters. And let me show you what that is. So if we were to search for, let's say, remove water or remove flood water Milwaukee. The, f the first site that ranks here is remove water and this is their title tag. What you see right here in the blue is the title tag. So this is something a lot of time you will see websites would have a title tag that says welcome or the name of their own company, something like that. Instead, you actually need to have the keyword in the title tag itself. It's important that you do it the right way. Once you have the keyword in the title tag, that's one of the reasons that would help your site rank high in search engines. Now, that's not the only reason, but it does help. The next one is description tag. And let me show you what that is. If you were to Google, uh, like I said, remove flood water Milwaukee and scroll down, this is the description tag coming from the website. Whatever they wrote in their description tag is what being shown by Google right now. Google is not guessing it, it's actually being told to Google what should be shown here. If you have the description tag done right in your websites, it's exactly, it'll show up right here. So if, so this company, removewater.com, their description tag is, we remove water from your flooded basements, mold from your property, and restore your building after fire faster than any of our competitors guaranteed. That's a powerful description. That makes you want to click there. Uh, it's not something like here uh, that, you know, doesn't really entice you in clicking on that listing. So if you write a description with your keywords that has a call to action, actually you get more clicks. And just by being on number one on search engines, especially Google, between 47 to 50 percent of all clicks on page one of Google are on the first listing itself. Everybody else shares the rest of 50 percent, but half of all clicks are on the first listing. So it's very important to be there. The next one being meta keywords. Now Google says they don't uh, use this anymore. They don't look up your keywords. So it doesn't really matter what they are. Now, some of the other search engines still use keywords to rank you high in uh, their listings on page one of, let's say, Yahoo or Bing. The keywords do still help you rank high. The way the keyword should be added to a website is obviously your keyword. And if you want to have the name of the city with the keyword, then do not add comma between your keyword and the name of the city. For example, let's say you are you own a construction company in Madison and you do bathroom remodeling. So your keyword should not be bathroom remodeling, comma Milwaukee, comma Madison, and so forth. It should be bathroom remodeling Madison, comma bathroom remodeling Milwaukee, and so forth. If you want to add the cities, which I see most 
local companies do, please don't add comma in between the name of the city. So once again, bathroom remodeling, comma, Madison, comma, Milwaukee, comma, Waukesha is not the way to do it. You should do bathroom remodeling Milwaukee, bathroom remodeling Waukesha, and so forth. That will help you rank high in search engines uh, faster than if you would add commas in between. So you'll see a lot of websites have in their keywords, they'll have a lot of commas after keywords, they'll have a lot of keywords. Don't do that. Do not have more than seven or eight keywords. I actually even recommend just six for each and every single page of your website. Now, you can have a separate title, a separate description, and a separate keyword for each and every single page of your website. It's not just the home page I'm talking about. It's the inside pages also. For example, we did before TPO Roofing Milwaukee. The first listing that you see here, and if you click on it, this is not the home page of this company. It's one of the inside pages. So if you click on, if you click here, now you go to the home page, but that was not the home page of uh, Vertex Construction. So the reason it's showing the inside page is because the inside page has the title tag, the meta description, and the keywords done right. So if you have 10 pages on your website, please make sure every single page has the correct meta tags. Every single page will rank high in search engines, and obviously that'll get you more prospects, more calls, and so forth. Now. I do have a workshop coming up on March 16th. In case if you are interested in that, uh, let me show you. It's right here. It's called socialmediaworkshopmilwaukee.com. And I do have two workshops here. One at 10 a.m. on social media. It's at Best Western in Brookfield by I-94 and Moreland. The first one is on how you can use social media to make more money or get more prospects and leads in your business. And the second one is on being on front page of uh, search engines. So if you're interested, let me know. I know th this it, right here, it shows it's $197. But if you were, if you're interested really, hit the reply button, send me an email. And for you, I'll do it for just 97 bucks. I know there's only four days left, or five days left for this. There's not a whole lot of time for you to think about. So you may have to make some changes in your schedule. And for that, as a thank you, I'll give you $100 off each of these workshops. If you're interested, like I said, hit the reply button. Let me know you're interested. And I'll send you the link where you can actually sign up for only 97 bucks. So I'll see you in the next video in which I'll show you three more strategies or ways of how you can get on page one of uh, search engines. But right here in this workshop, I'll show you some of the strategies that I only share with very few people really and some of the inside tricks and uh, secrets. So until the next video, have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.